What is up, everybody? It's your boy Roker. So, if you ask me, see, I'm not at my local Koala. I'm actually at my other shop, Top Cup Comics, for a Saturday tournament. I haven't had a Saturday tournament forever. It's been forever since I've been here, but I'm back. And yeah, we're about to play some Yu Gi Oh! They have a Bonanza tournament going on today. So, I'm not competing with Heroes. I'm competing with my U Bell deck. I did modify it. And I am taking inspiration from Michael Walters, the dude who was like the, one of the original U Bell players who top eight it back before U Bell even got really popular. So his build focused on Super Poly, so I'm adding Super Poly back to my deck just to have some fun with it. And I'm, I ain't been a top cut in a while, bro. They got a lot of dope stuff. And look at all these Gundams they got, bro. Like, they have a lot of Gundams here. Now, I mean, they've been had Gundams, so you gotta remember, but like, they've gotten a lot more since I've been here, bro. Um, at this point in the video, smash that like button, get the video to 100 likes. That'd be awesome. Hit the subscribe button for more. Um, the reason why I didn't go to my local's quality game is because unfortunately, your boy got into a car accident. Some, I was merging into a lane, semi trucks in the middle lane, I'm on the right lane. I guess the semi truck didn't hit me, didn't see me rather, and as soon as I merged up going like 8 miles, maybe 15 miles an hour in bumper to bumper traffic, boom, he hit my car. So, very pissed about that, so I'm just trying to have some fun and clear my thoughts while my son's at the crib chilling. And I'm just like, man, I ain't been hearing so long, y'all, probably about a year. And they have a lot of cool stuff here, bro. Also, one more thing I want to tell you guys, for you guys that are, are veterans who watched me during the lockdown, they have these little, like, toy things. You guys might see a lot of Japanese markets, like these little things right here. So, Top Cut is coming up, man. They doing their thing over here, bro, with all this cool stuff. Like, I'm loving the display of everything because it looks freaking dope. Like, this would be a dope thumbnail, like, but, um, yeah. Everything here is different now, bro, and the big wall in here is pretty dope. All this stuff is pretty dope. What's up, bro? So, yeah, all this stuff got changed since the last time I came here, so it's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, I'm just in it to win it today. Not playing no games. As you guys can see, um, yeah, it's pretty crowded. Like, probably like 30 people here, man. And, yeah, this place... This place had history for me, man. During the lockdown, this place kept me sane with all the Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and stuff. So, I'm just going to catch you guys after round one, I guess. Y'all stay tuned. You bail best mother effing deck. All right, guys. I'm going to round one of the tournament. Ended up playing against Tenpai. And this is a really interesting game. I didn't know what my opponent was playing. Like, I think last time I played this guy, I literally forgot what deck was playing. It was a long time ago. It was like a year ago. Anyway, he's playing Tenpai now. And I, when he made me go first, I'm like, okay, I'm on T John Ten Pass. So I gotta make sure I go for Omni Negate. So my goal was to make Veradras, um, U Bell, Phantom, the Spirit of U Bell, everything. I pretty much ended my board on. I did have Promethean Princess as well. U Bell has a really good Tempi matchup, especially now since Tempi got hit with the one field spell. Unfortunately for me, however, he had Darkly Drop Hole, but I was down and not out. So um, I was able to come back by bringing back. When he destroyed my. Um, my monster. I pretty much just came back with everything because I had Phantom Spirit. I was able to bring back U Bell Float because he went Dark Hole. I had the um, Blue Dog, destroy my Blue Dog, bring back Red Dog to hand. Um, Yama bring back a freaking U Bell monster, Chain Dog, and I did a lot of combos to keep my field on board. And essentially, you guys see right here, I have my um, my Spirit of U Bell again. I spare. I'm sorry, my Phantom U Bell. Keep getting these names confused. And we're going back and forth. I was able to get rid of his field spell with Little Knight. And I was able to just burn him down with the Gustav Max. I'm not running the second form right now because it's just not worth it. Because I wanted to fit in my U-Bell Love and Defenders. I made a lot of changes to my deck. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to test out the changes see how um, it works. And so far, the deck's playing pretty good for the most part. He can't really OTK me because I have U-Bells and I did have Gustav Max. I think he's in main phase two right now because he there wasn't really much he could do. And what's going to happen was he's just going to just pretty much end on a weak field. He's going to set Book of Eclipse. He's going to Book of Eclipse me, but I'm going to put my stuff back up. Burn him for 2K again with Gustav Max and GG no real well played. Coming to the game two, I decided to hit Lightning Storm. I did draw my Lightning Storm as well, which is dope. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that back row. I had Ash Blossom, but I'm going to set two pass. I don't really have much. And like, if he draws a 10 by monster, I'm cooked. Luckily for me, he didn't draw anything, and I top decked the freaking U Bell Phil spell. That was the best thing I could have top decked. He did bring out that freaking monster, but I do. I am going to have an infinite impermanence for it, so that's a bonus. I keep forgetting that the um, Link monster has multiple different effects, so he resolved the gray artifact separately. 
And he hit me on this road, but eventually I'm just going to wear him down and come back and win. Like, I just had pretty much all the outs to everything he do. He did have a power filter, but I did infinite and permanent power filter, which is why I'm able to play. So, GG, no read well play. Catch you guys in the next clip. Y'all stay tuned. Oh, okay. Hello. All right, guys. Oh, shit, let's open up Alti. Let's freaking go. Hey. <laughs> okay, so you guys probably didn't hear me, but um, I won my round one. Um, and I opened up an ulti for my pack on Tuesday, so that's, I'll, I'll take it, I'll, I'll take that. We take those ultis. Um, let's see, big money, big money, big money. But yeah, I played against Tampa, ended up winning. Um, I got really lucky, but I, I drew the outs both games, it's pretty sick. And um, yeah, I probably have to edit this part out because I don't know how the audio came. I don't know if it did the stock audio, or I don't know if it just blocked everything out, so. Oh, big money, big money, big money. I opened up, oh, this is pretty. Super poly, okay. Flambert, okay. Granted opening, okay. Let's see. Big money, big money, big money. Gotta change my GoPro battery too because, yes. Oh, Cass Emery Drag. I don't know if that's going for That's pretty dope. Oh, oh, that's sexy, okay. Robbery is pretty too. Like, I don't know what's expensive or not, but I'll take it. I open up the Alti. I know it's expensive. I'm happy. Big money, big money. Oh, Magic in the Fate. That's sick. Lane and Dragons. Brandon opening. Ooh. Goes through the winner carry. That's pretty. I liked it. But anyway, man. I'm happy. I'm happy, Tim. You happy? You win? You win? Nice, nice, nice. You got whooped? Damn. It'd be like that, dog. But I'll catch you guys on the next clip. All right, guys. I went to round two of the tournament. Ended up playing against Ubel Fainsmith. I did not want to play against the mirror match, but at the same time, I kind of did want to play against the mirror match because I'm like, okay, let me see how good the pure Ubel build with Super Poly is versus Ubel Fainsmith. I assumed that I had a really good matchup, which I do, because if I draw Super Poly, especially if I go first, up Super Poly, I can stop him mid combo, get rid of his filter, love and defender. The only problem is I did go first, and he had the um, stupid Mocharmi, the one that draws. I went ahead and just went ahead and played a pair of Reese map. Normal summon Y1 guy, and he effect veiled me. And I'm just like, oof. Back in the beaches on the field. I'm like, I ain't got nowhere to play. Sell one pass, my friend. And he just started popping off. And I'm like, yep, you got this. I'm going to go to game two. And I'm like, this is where the cookie crumbles, my friend. I'm like, ugh, this sucks. But I opened up a good hand, game two. Um, went first again. Went for Phantom and Ubel. Had a pretty much full combo. Phantom full combo with the triple taxes in hand, which was clutch um his hand was really good as well however um i still got rid of his um nightmare throne because that's like the best car in his hand it's so sad to see how nightmare throne went down in price cars like what 15 bucks now these be like 65 on release but i guess i guess i guess it makes sense considering you bell's technically not the best deck anymore but it's still like a good tier one deck um so i kind of made a few misplays by ending my field on veradrus phantom and Little Knight, which wasn't terrible. However, um, it was enough just to hold him back just slightly. So my goal was I'm okay, I got you bell, I got Veradrust, I got the field spell, he's popping off Fiend Smith combos. I already did the negate. So we're just going back and forth at this point. So I'm like, okay, my turn make another phantom, and I'm just gonna um just start popping off here. And I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and get my nightmare thrown again. Grab, grab my Fiendsmith stuff. No, my Fiendsmith. What am I saying? Went to grab my Ray Scrummer dude. So I went Red Dog into, into Access Code Talker. And that was game right there. Like, it was a back and forth match. I ended up getting that one. Couldn't explain everything because, like, I kind of forgot the U-Bell combo. I've been playing Heroes. And then in game three, we're going to go back and forth but not do damage at all. And unfortunately, time is going to get called, which sucks, but time happens. Game one was very long, and he's doing his combos. And on my turn, I mean, I did have Magnum up. Like I said, we did. We had like seven minutes up at this point, but like it just wasn't enough. And yeah, like I had plays. My whole goal was to sue probably a field away, but he he would not bring out a U belt to field the same. It was like he played it smart. So catch you guys in the next clip, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, guys, round two is already drawn with my buddy Jose here using his Ubel Fiendsmith deck. And, um, yeah, it sucked. We had a good game. Game one, I got wrecked. Game two, I came back. And then game three, literally just down to the time. And I couldn't burn. I was hoping he brought out Ubel. He played it smart and didn't bring out Ubel. Last super poly, I was just going to burn him with Love and Defender attack for game. So, yeah, it's crowded as hell. It's probably going to be like five or six rounds. You guys see the room. It's pretty, 
pretty crowded for the most part. And um, hey, Pure U Bell's good. So shout out to Michael Walters for make bringing back the Super Poly list that he top eight his regionals with because Matthew liking it. This is not his exact list, but it's like my own version of it. And yeah, so far so good. So I'm gonna catch you guys up to round three. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm just around to the tournament. I'm playing with my boy David using that stupid synchro deck, man. That deck's good. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> and he just keep getting better with the deck, man. So um, anyway, I believe he won the dice roll on this one. Um, and he went first, so I didn't open up any hand traps. I opened up what was Nightmare Throne and Super Poly and Nightmare Pain. So I'm like, okay. So he's going to go full combo, make his goofy board. If I could dodge getting my um, Super Poly ripped out of my hand and I could resolve Nightmare Throne, I probably can win this one. So that was my goal. So as you can see, he's doing his synchro plays, drawing a ton of cards. If you guys don't know what synchros do, man, the deck's insane. I highly recommend researching it. It's definitely one of the best rogue decks, hand down. Like a, a skilled synchro player is like playing. It's like scarier than freaking Snake Eyes, man. Like it can be a little clunky at times because like they draw bad, they draw bad. But when they draw good and you don't have many hand traps, man, it's a hard time for them. But anyway, man, I pretty much he let he let the nightmare throne resolve. He didn't really feel like any, I could do anything threatening. I bring out Super Poly, clear this field, then I just um, OTK him by um, making Phantom, and then make Love and Defender. He did end Permanent Love and Defender, so his life points to get down. But I was able to bring out like three U-Bell monsters and attack for game, because I left one of his monsters on board with a big booty, so yeah. I definitely sacked my way out of a victory on that one. Game two, though, my hand wasn't that good, despite me main decking three draws. And he's just doing synchro combos. I'm like, yep, ain't nothing I can do. It's like, yeah, I think I had like an imperm, but it didn't. It did not. I don't think I had anything, honestly. It just, yeah, it just, it just wrecked me like this one. I didn't really open up much of anything at all. I tried to do something like, yeah, I'm just no stop wasting my time. Go to game three. Game three, um, it's a pretty decent game. Like I had an okay hand. I'm gonna open up the super poly. I'm gonna open up just like a basic combo hand. He is gonna have like one hand trap for me, which is gonna suck. He's gonna ash blossom my um, lotus, so it forced me to do some weird plays, like um, to go grab my um, spirit to, to set the um, favorite contact. I made phantom, so I have favorite contact. I didn't have super probably. I have favorite contact, phantom pass, and I am gonna um, use phantom to, to negate one of the monster effect. Bring out a Ubel, flip favorite contact, so that way I can just go ahead and um, super probably is filled away, which I am gonna resolve. Mind you, we're close to time. However, he's gonna OTK me through time. GG, no re well play. Like I said, that deck once it keeps going, it just it don't stop. So catch you guys in the next club. Hi right, guys, round three is over. Lost to my boy Debbie. Them damn janky synchros, man. Um, I got rid of his field game three with the uh, Emperor Eleven Defender, but he just had plays. I don't know if I did it too early or whatever, but I don't know. That deck, that deck's unpredictable, man. It depends on how good the hand is, honestly. I figured I'm like, okay, I could just burn his field, and then he probably won't be able to do anything to live in the definitive path. But nope, he did stuff. Synchro, do synchro play. So, one win, one loss, one draw. I'm just going to stay in it just to see if I get prizing at this point. If I lose again, I'm leaving, though. So, I'm going to catch you guys after round four, I guess. Y'all stay tuned. All right, first thing first. Sorry for the guys that had experience. Had a little bit of static in the last scene. I don't know what's been going on with my... Um, my Rode mic, like it'll be plugged into my freaking new camera. I think the cord be wiggling sometimes when I be filming my scenes and that causes the static. So I'm gonna try to get that worked out for the next vlog. Hope you got enough of you guys didn't click into the video there. Anyway, go going into round four, playing against Drytron with Arcanus. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, this deck kind of threw me off. I haven't seen Drytron in forever. I didn't know what was going on. All I don't know is he tribute something for this Arcana monster that says flip a coin. If pretty much heads, your opponent draws a card of tails, you skip your opponent's turn. I'm like, yeah, we can't risk that resolving. A fact, Valor. <laughs> so I opened up literally three hand traps, and that pretty much won me game one because I'm just gonna just pop off, make Gustav Max. I was thinking about making Veritas. He had no cards in hand, um, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just make Gustav Max. Bam for 2K, attack for three, have Phantom. Worst case scenario, I'll be good. Maybe Veritas is the better play, but I'm like, yeah, I think I'm good regardless. So neither here or there. Coming to game two, um, I'm going to open up a double hand trap, and that's going to slow him down a lot. I was saving my Ash Blossom for important cards. I didn't know which, that was, which one there was important, so I was just winging it at this point. But everything I did pretty much got me to where I needed to be, so I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip. Y'all stay tuned. You build best mother effing deck. All right, guys, round four. I ended up beating Drytron. So right now I'm one win, two wins, one loss, one draw. My boy JoJo right here. 
playing against um, Exodia. Exodia deck seems nutty, but yeah, I'm scared of that shit. But um, yeah, the drag turn game, I had multiple hand traps both games. And it, and it sucks because he was telling me like, yeah, man, everybody keep drawing three hand traps against me. Literally my first opening hand was Empire, Valor, um, Ash. Yeah, oh, appreciate it, bro, thank you. But yeah, so so far, so guys, you gotta win the last one. And hopefully, get extra prize. I don't know if we get extra prize or not. That's a dope stone cold shirt. I like that shirt. Hey. Yeah, stone cold. Pretty cool guy. But anyway, man, I'm gonna catch you guys after round five. Hopefully, I win it. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm gonna find around the tournament. It's my boy JoJo and his Cash Hero, as I mean, an invoke deck. Um, yeah, this deck was completely random. Never seen it before. I don't know if it's something that's like on the rogue circuit or if I don't know if it's something he homebrewed himself. I was taking a wild guess. It like some stuff he homebrewed himself. Cause this deck was freaking annoying, and he liked playing decks to get on my freaking nerves. JoJo, if you're hearing this, I hate you. No, I'm just joking, dog. That's my nigga. He cool. Anyway, though, <laughs> I'm just salty, bro. Cause I got wrecked this game. Like his entire deck literally was anti-meta Ubel. Literally, cause Cash Tier is anti-meta Ubel. Invoke give you access to an Omni Negate, and the Azamina engine is just really good. Like. Dumb good. I can see why Fire King got bumped up in the uh, meta game because the Azamina stuff flows naturally well with the Dia Bellstar stuff, and with the Invoked Engine right here, it just gives it an extra layer of like negation, which is pretty good. Like it was very nostalgic watching this deck. Um, like I just couldn't do much game one at all. It just he had complete control of the game. He went first once the dice roll. I think no, did I went first? I forgot. Anyway, I'm watching the game and I literally forgot just that fast. Nevertheless. As you know, he did go first. I just couldn't do much. And as you guys can see, he's making a big beefy field. I had Unchained Rage. It didn't matter. And yeah. GG no real well played. Game two. I sided in like Solemn Judgment or something like that. Not going to matter though. Because I'm not going to draw any of my side deck. And he had an Imperm on my summon. And that's all I could do. And it was GG no real after that well played. So... I got racked. Two wins, two losses, one draw. It is what it is. Catch you guys in the next clip, though, y'all. Stay tuned. You bail still the best deck. Today just wasn't my day. All right, round two, three, four, five is over. I got blasted by my boy JoJo using that Cash Tier or whatever. Alistair the Invoker, bull, shitty plan. And, uh, <laughs> he just went full Cash Tier combo game one. I, oh, I couldn't play. And in game two, I thought I had it with Super Poly, me, Super Poly, me. That's why we both laughing because I'm like, man, that is. Not even trying to super party. <laughs> nah, I didn't think. I was like, oh, you got it, GG. <laughs> you, you had freaking Fiend Smith. I'm like, yeah, it's over. I tried. I was really two wins, two losses, one draw. I'm like, bro, can't chain, can't chain. Oh shit, man. Oh, good shit, though. Oh man. Yeah, good <laughs> shit. Oh man. So yeah, the, the deck played good, just. Ain't nothing you can do about the situation. A lot of good players are today, so it'd be like that. I'm gonna catch you guys, I guess, in the closing statements. I'm probably just gonna see if I get any prize. I don't think I am because I got a draw. So, yeah, y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, back at home now, and I'm just gonna get my closing statements. I'm gonna show you guys the actual deck list itself. It's 41 card main deck. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't, don't want to do an actual deck profile. I don't really think it's worth it, but I think the list was pretty solid, at least show at the end of the vlog. So, you guys that made it to the end of the vlog, you have to see, see what I ran. So, a little extra content for you guys. So, one U Bell, I mean that's pretty much obvious. Some cards, since I'm running two, um, since I'm running pure, two will be selfish, but one is good enough, honestly. You, you do all your combos with one. Three spirit, I'm sorry, one, two, three spirits. This is not standard in a famous with U Bell, but in pure is standard because Tempai makes your matchup almost damn near free unless they have like droplet. And then for two, you want to make sure you combo off as many times as you can with Nightmare Pain. Then one Terra Incarnate. Three Lotus, three Beckham Bees, that's pretty much a staple at this point. One Shavara, staple, two Grey Scormers. The TCG players are finally using Grey Scormer at two. I've been using two for the longest, so that's staple. Two Effect Veilers, three Ash Blossoms, three Droves was, was one of the changes I made to the main deck over Ghost Ogre. It never really came up, honestly. I think I drove it one time, and the time I drove it didn't matter. Like, I drove the mirror match, but he was playing Phoenix with U-Bell, so it ended on a good field, and then when I lost, and we ended up drawing in that matchup, so it was kind of like, eh, whatever. So that's the monster lineup. Two Reese maps. I sided it out every game. Um, I think it's still needed in pure for sure. However, um, it's a good card. Like, you just run it to start your combos. Now, this is what I got from Michael Walsh. Shout out to bro. Two Super Poly. I don't know if he, I forgot only if he ran three in his build or two, but I think two was good enough. 
Um, when they resolved, it pretty much was a game winner. Except for the one time I played with my boy, um, no, I played with my boy David. Well, I didn't super probably him. I did the other card, but anyway, I wiped this board with Love and Defender, but he still ended up winning. Yeah, this card is nuts, especially against the Mirror Match, against the Phoenix Mobile. When they bring out your Bell Mid Combo, super probably them. It's not a turn ender, but it can definitely change the tide of the game and just steal games in general. Um, three number pain for consistency, of course, because so it's pure. One for one, the opening of the spirit gates, terraforming, three thrones, one call by the grave, one unchained, a special summon, three impermanence, and one eternal favorite. Car is insane, especially in this build because I ain't gonna lie, man. Battle phase or before battle phase, super probably in their board away with this one. It's so freaking good. I did that once with my boy David and his synchro deck, but that synchro deck, man, I just wiped his board and kept summoning it again and I lost. I'm like, uh, yes, you got it, GG. Um, let me check the X check real quick. So, X check was pretty much standard. If you play U Bell pre famous movie, you pretty much know what there is already. Princess never came up. This never came up. Almirage never came up. Dude, look, never came up when I made. I think, no, I made Princess one time, but I didn't get to resolve it, so it didn't matter. Access Code Talker, of course, came up. Anguish came up a lot. Loading Knight came up a lot. Um, I took out the other Dreadnought Cannon to fit two Loving Defenders. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't miss the other one, so I think just having just the Goose Off Max is good enough. The burner for 2k, attacking. It didn't change the tide of my game, because every time I thought I could have OTK, they had a, a way to out the attack anyway, so this, I think this is pretty much a staple. Even if you're playing the Fiendsmith build, I'd probably play one, just because. Unless you just can't fit it. Like, I've never played the Fiendsmith build, so don't quote me on that, but I think it's a good card for time. Two loving defenders, bro. So I ran two because of two super polys and the um eternal favorite. Looking back at it again, I would definitely cut that down to one and probably use another super poly target. But for the tournament, I did two. So I figured out probably super poly them twice and bring it out twice, but it never came up. Two Phantom of Bells. Um, I like this card a lot. I didn't really need three today. Some very rarely I want to run in three. Um, one Yama, Rage, Veritas, of course, came up, but. He ain't the end all be all like he used to be, Prairie Fiend Smith and all this goofy stuff that's getting released. And my side deck is pretty standard. Solemn Judgments never came up. Um, Tactics came up a lot. Two Lightning Storms. Three Evenly Match for the Mirror Match never came up. Three D Barrier came up against the um, 10 by matchup. And never drew it against my Synchro matchup. And then two best shoes. I think these are staples. And also, man, I just want to take some time out um, to say rest in peace to my homie, um, Dudley Reiner. He's a subscriber of mine. Um, he recently passed away, but he did give me this at Nationals 2021. So I just want to say, man, R.E.P. to you, bro. You, even though I only met you one time, I met you and your wife. You're a really cool dude. And we're all going to get there one day. So, man, really, um, I really appreciate you, bro. Like, just wish I could have met you one more, one more time before things happen but i don't know how it happened guys so don't ask me i just the hero facebook group um brought it up to my attention and looking at this nebrew token now he literally gifted me this at nas we got photos and everything i posted on my community tab so let's so say rp to my bro um Dudley reiner one of my chillest subscribers ever met and yeah yeah i definitely um i'm not looking for no attention so the thing i am but i definitely let off some tears when i found out because like man like you just, you know, you meet somebody and things like that happen, it just, it sucks, you know? But, yeah. Anyway, man, this is my favorite token. This will be with me until I quit playing Yu-Gi-Oh! So, yeah. Anyway, man, didn't mean to get you guys all, get all sentimental and sad towards the end of this video. It just, this thing might right now kind of mess me up a little bit. But, anyway, let me you guys think about the vlog. Comment section down below. Like the video if you're new here. Want to subscribe more for Subscribe for more. Ship Row, Row, Hit Row, and I'm signing out. Peace. See you guys in the next video.